welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here today another currently inked video and I have 10 pens that I have currently inked up. So what we'll do is we will go through these pens briefly, one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the Classic Pens LM1 and this is in the Flame Red. A Classic Pens LB5, and this is in the Kauseki finish. We have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk. We have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown. We have an Omas Arte Italiana Paragon Grande. We have a Visconti Brunelleschi. We have a Visconti Millionaire in the marble green. And we have a Monte Grappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. So let's go through these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the beautiful Classic Pens LM1. And this was a pen uh, that I had seen that uh, a number of uh, other reviewers had, had purchased before. Uh, Stephen Brown, Matt Armstrong uh, had a number of uh, classic pens. Uh, he didn't have this one, I don't believe. Um, but I saw this and I, I saw it in the LB5 before and I really wanted this in the LB5. And you can see why this, this pen really is beautiful. Uh, it's made of uh, diffusion bonded acrylic and it's an absolutely stunning pen made by Andy Lambro of Classic Pens and this came in the LM1 but also in an LB5 I have this in the LM1 which is slightly smaller the LB5 actually has a Sailor uh, nib on it and is actually a Sailor King a pen made by Sailor whereas this one was actually made by uh, Andy's team uh, and comes with a Bok nib but you can see here, this is an absolutely stunning material there. And if I just show you in the hand, this is a really good size. You can post the cap if you want to. It makes it a little bit long, but not as long as some of my pens. And then the nib on here, if I zoom in, you'll see it is a classic pens stamped nib and it's actually a bock nib and it's a medium nib but this actually writes quite well uh, this is a cartridge converter pen uh, as far as I'm aware all of the classic pens are cartridge converters I don't think he has any piston filling pens and then we have this beautiful Classic Pens LB5. So this is the one that's actually made by Sailor. It's made uh, in the same shape as the Sailor Kinger pen uh, and it is a beautiful material and you can just see here if I zoom in this diffusion bonded acrylic there. I really do like this this brown. So I picked this up along with the, the LM1 uh, from Sarge at the London Pen Show a number of years ago. And I'm really glad I did. I actually uh, wanted to pick up a third Classic Pens, but these were already quite expensive. So I decided I would only just pick up two, and I picked up the two that really spoke to me. And the LM1 and this LB5 were the ones that really spoke to me. So you can see here, so I my hand, and then posted. So this posts a little bit more deeper. Um, now it is a Sailor as I mentioned, so if I zoom in here, you will see a Sailor 1911 nib there, and this is the King of Pen nib, and that is a really, really nice writing nib. Again, this is a cartridge converter, just like Sailor pens in general are cartridge converters. Uh, although Sailor do have some, some piston filling pens, like the Pro Gears, but the King of Pens are typically... Uh, cartridge converter pens so uh, this is a really nice writer too and I have that inked up again this week and then I have this beautiful pen and this is the Visconti Luxor Obelisk 
and this is a beautiful pen so you, uh, this comes with a massive box and this pen is actually a Macchia and it has a lacquer over the top of it but this is a really stunning pen it's also a power vac as well so in terms of the size of my hand now I don't post this because of the Macchia that's that's uh, adorning this pen uh, but if I show you here you can see the nib on it is a 23 cap palladium medium nib and you can also see the on the section there the number of the limited edition of the pen it also comes with an ink window as well it's a double reservoir and again this writes really well and I'm really glad that I was able to pick this up when I did I nearly let, let this one go before buying it but I'm glad that I was able to pick that one up and then we have this Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust and I've been using this a lot lately and this really is a stunning pen you can see there that golden dust it's a very sort of smoky type finish that's going on there with golden dust in the material but I do like the Opera Masters for not only the size but also the weight now if I uncap the pen you'll see here it's already a very long pen you can post the cap if you wanted to but it's going to become a little bit of a wand uh, this has a power vac filling mechanism and a double reservoir there and then the nib on here is a 23 cap palladium and this is a fine nib but that is quite nice and then you will also see uh, around here somewhere you'll see there that is the limited edition number on the the filling knob there but that again is a nice pen and I actually picked this one up second hand or actually I, I guess actually the the classic pens LM1 and the LB5 were second hand they weren't brand new um, the Visconti Luxor 88 was brand new and then I have a couple here of Armando Simone Club Bologna Extras and this is the Arco Verde and this really is a beautiful pen and I love writing with this. It has an 18 karat gold uh, Magic Flex nib on it but you can see this, this Arco material just shines there. Beautiful, beautiful material. And you can just see how the light catches that. It's very mesmerizing so if I unscrew this you'll see here again this is inked up so you can see the ink being captured on the uh, laser engravings there on the nib but it's a 18 karat gold and this is the magic flex nib so it's basically a medium nib and you can see here in terms of the size of my hand uh, I can post this but not very securely and the it becomes a massive one, so I, I don't I don't post this. Uh, it, it's also uh, a pneumatic filling system here. So you actually have a hole there, so you unscrew this, pull it out, push it down, and then let go of your finger from the end cap, and then it will suck up ink. And that's the same here with this one, and this is again another Armando Simone Club, and this is the Bologna Extra again, but this is in the Arco Brown finish. And you can see here again that material just pops just as you rotate it there. You can just see it starts to come alive. So for me this is a really nice material. It's it's a material that I do like a lot. If I unscrew this, again you'll see here it's a twenty uh, it's actually an eighteen count, not twenty-three count, an eighteen count gold magic flex nib. But you can see there with the Ebonite feeder, it's a really nice uh, pen to write with. Uh, so that is inked up as well. And uh, can I get the Arco to line up? Yes, I can. And then we have an Omas, and this is the Arte Italiana Paragon Grande and uh, again this is a really lovely writer i was able to pick this up in 2019 early 2019 
again that arco brown material really is captivating so i do like this arco brown a lot i also do like the arco verde though so you can just see there how how that really reflects it's a beautiful celluloid material so this one comes with an 18 karat gold and it's a medium uh, omas nib and you can see there the ebonite feeder on there but this again it's a piston filling pen in terms of the size of my hand it's actually quite a good size i can post the cap if i want to it's a little bit oversized but it's uh, not like the um, asc bolognas for instance so and again i'm going to try and line this up there you go you just got to get the right threads because uh, there's multiple threads on these pens and only one thread will actually line up and then we have the Visconti and this is the Brunelleschi and this is a beautiful pen uh, made of terracotta very smooth uh, it's mixed or blended with resin to, to give it a, a very robust uh, kind of feel to it uh, and it is a beautiful pen it comes in this rose gold trim and you have the uh, sort of uh, inscribing there uh, it really is a nice pen and in terms of the nib you are looking at a 23 cap palladium medium nib there and just like the homo sapiens love editions this material is a little bit hygroscopic um, so you will get something on the section there staining over time and it's just one thing that you just have to bear in mind unfortunately if you're going to write with pens is that the pens will never always be as mint in the box just like if you drive a car off of a, a, a car dealership forecourt a brand new car it's not going to look the same uh, after a few days or a few weeks or f even a few months or, or years so it's just something you have to bear in mind and then we have the Visconti Millionaire and this is in the marble green and again this is a really really stunning pen uh, it's a very weighty pen as well because it is made of complete marble and this is uh, one slab of marble um, that they they actually uh, really just shape into a pen here but you can see this marble is actually quite nice and strange enough it actually I it matches the marble in my kitchen so my kitchen top is actually this exact same marble so actually if I if I take this into the kitchen it, I can actually lose the pen almost uh, if I put it on the kitchen countertop but you see here this is a lovely pen now this ha has a 23 cap palladium medium nib on it in terms of the size of the hand you can see there it's actually a not a bad size you can post it but it's very back heavy you're back weighted because there is a lot of weight in this marble cap so i would not do that but i know some people do like to post their caps and then last but not least we have the the very beautiful monte grappa extra 1930 shiny lines dove and this really is a captivating pen so this is a stacked celluloid now uh, monte grappa have two versions of this they have the shiny lines which is the this sort of the lines going in this sort of dimension and then they have the circles which actually go round round the pen and uh, that's typically what a lot of other companies like parker and the vacuumatics would use and and likewise visconti as well but uh, this you can see here is actually quite nice yeah, that material really is stunning and you do get a little bit of like of an arco wood effect going on here as well on the sides of the pen now in terms of the nib it is an 18 karat gold and it's a medium nib that i've got on this one but you can see the the dove nib on there with with the dove inscription from monte grappa so this was a goulet exclusive you see the uh, ebonite feeder there now, unfortunately this is long sold out now but uh, i was very good to be able to get a a uh, 
pick up one of these pens quite early on so uh, you, know, you can see there it's posted uh, the cap does wobble a little bit again it's not a, a pen that I would uh, ideally post but it is a beautiful beautiful stunning pen so that's the 10 pens I have currently inked uh, for this week so let's go and do a writing sample now so the first pen we have here is the Classic Pens LM1. So we'll do a ink swatch first. So you can see here, this is a really, really wet nib. Just how I like my pens to write. So this is the Classic Pens LM1. And it's the flame red, and it's a medium 18 carat gold nib. And the ink in here is Blackstone uh, Yuluru red. And that really is a nice dark red. And uh, I probably could put a lighter red in this pen, but this is just a red that I have gone with a lot of the time in this pen. And it's just a red that I find performs well in the pen. And then we have the lovely classic pens LB5. So this is a sailor nib. So it has a little bit of a bounce to it. Uh, but as this is a medium nib, and it's a Japanese nib, it tends to be more like a Western fine nib. So this is the classic pens LB5 and it's the Cow Seki. And it's a medium and this is a 21 carat gold nib because it's a sailor nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Eroshizuku and this one is Sakushi. But that is a very nice nib and it's a number eight size nib as well. So it's a, a very large nib. And then we have the beautiful Visconti Luxor. So ink swatch so this is the Visconti and it's the Luxor obelisk and it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib and the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku Kompeki and again that is a beautiful ink one of my favorite blue inks still is and then we have again another Visconti so this is the Opera Master so do an ink swatch and this is a fine nib so you can see it takes a little bit longer to, to do an ink swatch there and so this is the Visconti Opera Master Golden dust and it's a fine and it's a 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is also pilot Iroshizuku Sukushi you can see a slight difference there in the ink color between those those two pens and then we have the Armando Simone Club 
and this is going to be a wet nib. And you can just see how wet that nib is. Beautiful wet nib. It's like a paintbrush, really. So this is an ASC Bologna Extra Arco Verde. And it's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Akamon Bazudan Wood Grown. But you can see that that is a beautiful ink and it's one of my favorite Akamon inks. I have uh, two or three and two of them are green inks and one's a red ink. And we have another Armando Simone Club, Bologna. This is the extra Arco Brown. And again, this is a very, very wet nib. Just like a paintbrush, really. So it's an ASC Bologna Extra Arco Brown. And it, again, it's a medium. 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is Akamon SBRE Brown that is a very wet nib and then we have the Omas And this is, again, another lovely brown ink. So this is the Omas, and it's the Arte Italiana Grande Paragon. And it's a medium 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is also Akamon SBRE Brown so you can actually see the difference sometimes between pens and nibs that you can get quite a difference quite a variation there in terms of the ink color so that's actually a very big difference there when it's in a, a wetter writing nib. And then we have the Visconti Brunelleschi. We'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a medium nib, but I also find this ink's a little bit more on the drier side, although in other nibs, it, in other pens, it can actually be a little bit more wetter. Um, so maybe it's more the nib on this pen. So this is the Visconti Brunelleschi. And it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib. And the ink in here is Aurora and Klingner. And it's Alt Bordeaux. And strangely, in a wetter pen, just like these two, when it's in a wetter pen, this actually comes out more of a, a black ink, uh, a purpley black. So, again, it really depends on the nibs. And, and I'll show you with this because I have this pen that it's also inked up in. And this is a much wetter nib, as you can see there. But you still see remnants of the color coming through, but it's just a much, much darker nib. So this is the Visconti Millionaire. And it's the marble green.
and it's a medium and it's a 23 carat palladium nib and again it's Aurora and Klingner and it's Alt Bordeaux. But you can see how I mean that with a wet, very wet writing nib, like this comes out almost like a black, a purple, purple black type colour, whereas this is more of a, like a purple violet type colour. So it really makes a lot of difference depending on the nib and uh, even though they're both medium nibs here and they're both 23 cap palladium nibs, one writes a lot wetter. And then last but not least we have the Monte Grappa and this we'll do an ink swatch on and you can see here so this is the Monte Grappa and it's the extra 1930 shiny lines dove and it is a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib and the ink in here is diamine l gray So we'll just go through these pens and ink combinations one more time. So we have the classic pens LM1 Flame Red with a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Blackstone Yuluru Red. A classic pens uh, and this is the LB5 in the Kaoseki with a medium 21 karat gold nib and that's inked up with Pilot Washizuku Sukushi. We have a Visconti Luxor Obelisk in a medium 23 cat palladium nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku Kompeki. We have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust in a fine 23 cat palladium nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku Sukushi. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde with a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Akaman Bazudan Woodgrown. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown in a medium 18 carat gold nib and that's inked up with Akamon SBRE Brown. Actually, we then have an Omas Arte Italiana Grande Paragon in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Akamon SBRE Brown. We have a Visconti Brunelleschi in a medium 23 carat palladium nib inked up with Raw and Klinger Alt Bordeaux. We have a Visconti Millionaire Marble Green with a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up again with Raw and Klinger Alt Bordeaux. And then finally we have the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove in a medium 18 cap gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.